So what I'd like to show here is another customer request um, asking about importing text files versus a CSV file. So Trimble system works with a CSV, which is a comma separated value file, which is a Microsoft Excel file. But sometimes we get a text file from the designer um, and they, they are compatible with the Trimble system. So if we open up that text file, you'll see that this is a control file. So it's got the point, the northing, the easting, the elevation, and the description separated by commas. So by default, this won't go into the Trimble system. So there's one step that we have to take before we can get this into our SCS 900 software. So what we have to do is we have to come in here to the started up SCS 900. You can see there's no control points in this file. So if I go into my point manager and look, you can see there's nothing in here, right? So I started the project without any control. I just brought my design map in here. So what I'm going to do is go to the home, go to import export, and I'm going to say I want to import a point file. So it's going to ask me the point type so I can say, all right, I want a control point or stakeout points. So in this case, I'm going to say I want control because I didn't bring them in to begin with. And the style guide is where I want to make that change. So the SCS 900 default is the CSV. So I want to make a change to that one. So I'm going to hit the down arrow and go create a new style guide. So it's going to ask me to name it. So I'll just call this one a text file. And the value separator is going to be comma. And the file extension in this case is going to be txt. And I can leave this stuff blank down here, this enable prefix. So if I needed to, I can use this. But for the most part, that's not really something that most people are doing. So leave those blank. And underneath here is where I'm going to tell it how to make that file import. So the data type and column index, this is going to be the first column. So I want to hit the down arrow. And my first column is going to be point name. Then I'm going to hit the plus button, and this is going to give me the opportunity to add a second one. So that's going to be my northing. I'm going to hit the plus button, down arrow. I'm going to make this one the easting. I'm going to hit the plus button again. Down arrow is elevation. Plus button again, down arrow, and this is going to be my point code. So that was that's the same thing as a description. So you can see now essentially I have uh, five columns in order: one, two, three, four, five. Point name, northing, easting, elevation, code. And I'm going to hit accept. And now it's going to allow me to choose between the SCS 900 default, which is a CSV, or a text file. So I'm going to say let's bring in the text file that I was given. So if I have a USB stick plugged into my data collector, my tablet, I can choose the file right from there. So I have a, a USB stick plugged in with the text file that I want. So I just put my cursor in this box or tap that box and it's going to browse out by default to the C drive. It always goes to the same folder but if I have a USB stick plugged in I can hit the down arrow and go to the E drive and there's the text file that I'm looking for. So I can tap that, hit accept, and then down below, you, well first you'll see that, just verify that that's the correct file, hit accept, and it says six points were added, hit OK, and now you can see that they came in as control points. So if I go back to my point manager, home button, Kogo, point manager, there's my uh, six control points and by looking at this left hand column here the triangle signifies that that is a control point so um, if, if you need to bring in stakeout points they will come in a little bit differently they'll show a different icon but um, you can bring in control points or stakeout points using that